Shalom. First of all, I want to give all praise, glory, and honor to the Heavenly Father and His Son. Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Brakata. Double honors to the elders of GMS that taught us this truth and, and lead us well in this truth, which show us how to be real men in this truth. And much love, peace, and blessings to all the elect brothers out there spread across the four corners of the globe that's teaching this truth in love and sincerity. All right, I'm the brother Anat Ba Ayash with the GMS North Carolina camp. Coming with another episode to get your mind right. You know, today we're going to deal with this. I found this article dealing with these two ignorant black women. They got into a fight and one of them was holding a baby and she dropped a baby on, on a, it was a four month old baby and she dropped her baby on, a, on his head. You know what I'm saying? And the baby had to go to the hospital, of course, you know. But the baby's all right, but it just shows the ignorance of the black women because both the women was fought, was fighting over a man. And the one girl ended up dropping her baby on her head, you know, trying to fight over this dude, man. But you got people out there to say that we supposed to, you know, uplift the black woman and treat her as, as, as though she's a god, you know. Make the black woman a god, like polite these black unconscious niggas be saying, like, uh, Saying the black woman is God, the black woman is God. God damn it, repeat it with me. The black woman is God. God damn it, the black woman is God. You know, but you got them out here acting all ignorant and stupid and shit. You don't see no white women out here fighting over no dude, holding no baby and shit, and drop her baby on the ground. You don't see no Chinese doing that. It's always the ignorant ass black woman, but then you, you got folks wondering why we get on the black woman so hard. Because she know better, man. You know, then you have them on these reality TV shows showing their ass, fighting and shit for money, showing their ignorance for a couple of dollars. And it's, it's plain pathetic, man. Like basketball wives, love and hip hop, you know what I'm saying, the R&B divas. You know, it's just ignorant, man, to see how black women on TV, not just the black woman, but the Latino woman, the Native American woman uh, on TV, Acting the ad just for a couple of dollars, man. It's sad, you know. That's why I'm gonna get this first scripture, James chapter two, verse nine. It said, "But if you have respect to persons, yeah, if you afraid to get on the the black woman ass to tell her what she going off, you know what I'm saying? I'm trying to worship the black black woman as God. It said, uh, but if you have respect to persons." You commit sin. That's right. Knowing she going up, but you don't want to tell her you going up. You know what I'm saying? Why? Because you want to uphold her as, as a, a, a queen or a king or something. Fuck that. You want to uphold her as a god. You know? And then you shouldn't, you shouldn't do that shit, man. It shouldn't be like that. And it says, uh, Ye commit sin and are convinced of the law as transgressors. That's right. What's, what's sin? It's transgressing the law. The law tell you not to have respect unto persons, man. They tell you that the Most High is not a respect to a person. When a person go off, you're supposed to tell them they're going off. Not because, you know, it might be your favorite auntie or your favorite cousin or something. You know, you're supposed to tell them. Look, man, you're going off. And if you don't, then guess what? you showing respect, having favoritism and showing Respect your person. And guess what? Your how about Shimia Washa will destroy you for that. You know what I'm saying? So I'm finna get into this article. And then we're gonna get into a couple of scriptures. I got this article from this website called uh, Naturally Moi. It's dealing with, you know, black women and shit. 
It's called Naturally Moi, M-O-I, Naturally M-O-I, for you brothers that want to look these articles up on this website. It says, two girls fist fighting over a man dropped four-month-old baby on her head in the parking lot. It reads, most of us see what's going on with young people and how many of them have never learned how to raise and protect kids. Despite this, they keep having babies and no one is there to protect them. A four month old girl was caught in the middle of a fist fight between two women and the baby was the main casualty of the fight. According to WREG.com, the baby was dropped during the battle, which took place in an apartment complex in Jackson, Tennessee. The police and child protective services have fortunately stepped in to protect the infant who is now recovering in the hospital. It says, when I came outside, I saw police cars, people standing in a crowd, said Dolly Holloway, a resident of the complex. The women were so overtaken by rage that they didn't stop to realize that a young infant was in the way. As a result, the baby was dropped on her head the baby hit its skull on the tough concrete in the parking lot, which is a significant injury for anyone, especially a child born in the summer of 2013. I'm terribly disturbed by it for the safety of our community and of our children. It's, it's just terrible, said Holloway. Police are saying that the women were fighting over a man, but they yet have to, they had they yet, it's a salakia. It said, but they have yet to confirm if this is exactly what happened. You know what I'm saying? It said, Captain Tyrese Miller with the Jackson Police Department Criminal Investigation Unit said that the women became quite hostile toward one another. Fists were used. They were actually fighting. One of the women who didn't live in the apartment complex had brought her four-month-old child with her to the apartment complex said Captain Miller. So this bitch drove way over there to wherever this apartment complex is. She left her house to go to somebody else's house to fight a bitch over a man and took her baby with her. It said the baby is now recovering from a skull fracture in the hospital. She's been taken out of the custody of her mother and charges are going to be filed against everyone involved in the unfortunate altercation. Right now we feel like the child's environment is dangerous, said Captain Miller. And that just goes to show you the ignorance of the black woman. But yet you got people that out there that want to say, you're supposed to worship the black woman as a god. You're supposed to lift her up as god. But yet look at the ignorance that she's doing. Next scripture, Psalms 27 and 10. Psalms 27 and 10. When my father and my mother forsake me, just like these black women fighting, this one woman drop her baby on the head, she forsook her baby, guess what? Then the Lord, Yahweh Hashem Yahweh will take me up. M meaning, the Lord is gonna protect this baby and take care of this child. Now the child has been taken out of the custody of her mother because of her ignorance. See, you black women need to wake the fuck up and realize that you don't know what the hell you're doing, man. While you're sitting there talking shit to your man, fuck you, nigga, I ain't got to do shit with, that you say. I'm above you. I make more money than you. I'm the breadwinner. Fuck you, nigga. I don't give a damn how much money you make. That man is still the head of the household. You know what I'm saying? The man may have a little mediocre part-time job, but he's still the man of the household. That don't mean to talk shit to that man. You know what I'm saying? Especially when it comes to the Bible. You can't teach a man shit about the Bible. You don't know the Bible. Next scripture, Lamentations 4 and 3. I'm trying to make this quick as possible. I don't want to harp on it too much. But it just had to show you the ignorance of, of the black women why you got niggas out here saying, worship the woman as God. This is Lamentations 4 and 3. It says, even the sea monsters draw out the breast. Yeah, the whales, the octopus, you know what I'm saying? Squids, all kind of sea creatures under the ocean know how to nurture and take care of their children, man. It said they give suck to their young ones. The daughter of my people is become cruel. That's right, the mothers of the nation of Israel have become cruel, man. They'll leave their child 
with a family member overnight just so they go out there and shake their ass and try and try and have sex with another man knowing she's married. You know what I'm saying? Or they'll try and leave a child with a family member or a homegirl or something just so she can so-called say have a break from that child. You see what I'm saying? Or the woman may just have a child just so she can get uh, child support and benefits from the government so her lady ain't gonna have to work. That's how these black women think, man. They always trying to get over on the next person just to benefit their damn self, and they will use their children to do it. I done seen black women, women use their child as an excuse just to leave work. Oh, Lord, my baby been in an accident. I got to leave, and ain't nothing wrong with little Tay-Tay. Little Tay-Tay at home playing with Legos and shit, eating candy. It says, like the ostriches in the wilderness, and they have become cruel like the ostriches in the wilderness. Hell, an ostrich will lay, will lay an egg in the, in the ground and run off and leave it. It may come back for it, may not. It'll just leave it there. That's how these black women do their children, man. Get take them to the daycare. Even though the bitch don't work, she'll take her child to the daycare just so she can sit around the house by herself and sit around and get some dick from random niggas that come by may smoke a blunt with her, may give her some cigarettes or something to eat. You know what I'm saying? Just her child won't be there so she can lay around on her back all day with her legs open. Having sex with this dude and that dude and this dude and that dude. Last scripture, Job 39 and 16. So Job chapter 39, verse 16. It says she is hardened against her young ones. That's right. She a little two-year-old child in the store. Mama wants a kid. Put that goddamn candy down, boy. You don't need that shit. You look bad, motherfucker. Just like your goddamn dad ain't shit. That's how they treat their kids, man. And it says she is hardened against her young ones as though, as though they were not hers. Her labor is in vain without fear. Meaning she don't give a damn about her kids. Even though she had these kids, she don't give a shit about a man. She'll treat the neighbor's kids better than her own kids. Mama, can I shut the fuck up, you little bad motherfucker? Hey, Miss John. Hey, little Daquan. How you doing, baby? Come give me a hug. But your own baby sitting there, Mama, I want to sit down, boy. Boy, you don't want no hug. You just asking for a hug, and little Daquan asked for a hug. Sit your dumb ass down somewhere. And that's how they treat their kids. And wonder why when the kids get older, they start selling drugs, they get involved with gangs, or they start disrespecting their parents. That's why, man. Because of the ignorance of the black woman, man. But this is all by design. These motherfucking crackers knew this shit, man. In order to, 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 to kill the body, you gotta knock the head off. You know what I'm saying? They know this. They know this. You beat the head, the body will fall. That's why they took the man out the household, man. That's why they had, uh, un, uh, un, un, what they call them, um, uh, fuck. I forgot what it's called. Oh, that's why they got dysfunctional families now. Why? Because they took the man out of the household. The why they how about shooting me out shot for that? I was trying to think of that word. That's why you have dysfunctional families. That's why you have, you have single parent families. Because the government give them goodies. Section 8, Medicaid, food stamps, tea, wick, all this shit. You know, they give them these little goodies so they keep the man out of the house. Because when, you, when a woman is on housing, she can't have no man in the house. If any articles of clothing are found that belong to a man, guess what? She get evicted. Now she got to pay a regular price for rent instead of $2 a month. And a bitch still fall behind on that. I know I done seen a bitch. Her rent was only $5 a month and this bitch behind $110. How the fuck you behind $110 and your rent only $5 a month? Stupid shit, man. But we supposed to put the black woman up as God. Now with ignorant shit like this is going on. So I tell you what, man. All you Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans out there, you better get your goddamn mind right, man, before the Lord, your how about shit me out with shot, come back and destroy your dumb ass. And with that, I'm going to say shallow one.